Hello everyone, and welcome to the Narcosis channel, and let's continue the third ECG subject, ECG grid and normal values. And as Marcus Aurelius said, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. In the last videos, we have talked about the ECG grid and the normal P, QRS complex, and the T wave. In this lecture, we will continue the normal values of the U wave and the most important intervals and segments. The U wave is a small rounded wave produced by slow and late repolarization of the intraventricular Purkin J system after the main ventricular mass has been repolarized. It is often difficult to notice the U wave, but when seen, it is best appreciated in the precordial leads V2 to V4. The U wave is more easy to recognize when the QT interval is short or the heart rate is slow. in which conditions it is clearly separated from the preceding T wave and the P wave of the following beat, respectively. The normal U wave is upright, and it is normally much smaller than the T wave which it follows. So, finally, we have finished the ECG waves, and let's now start the most important intervals, and we will start with normal PR interval. The PR interval is measured on the horizontal axis from the onset of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex, irrespective of whether it begins with a Q wave or a R wave. The PR interval is a measure of the atrioventricular AV conduction time since the P wave represents atrial depolarization and the QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization, the PR interval is a measure of the atrioventricular AV conduction time. The AV conduction time includes time for atrial depolarization, conduction delay in the AV node, and time required for the impulse to traverse the conduction system before ventricular depolarization begins. The normal PR interval is in the range of 0.12 to 0.20 second or 3 to 5 small squares, depending upon the heart rate. In normal heart rate, PR interval is in normal range 0.12 to 0.20 second or 3 to 5 small squares. PR interval is prolonged at slow heart rates and PR interval shortened at fast heart rates. The PR interval tends to be slightly shorter in children. Upper limit 0.18 sec or 4.5 small squares. And slightly longer in elderly persons. Upper limit 0.22 sec or 5.5 small squares. So we have finished the ECG grid and the normal P wave, the QRS complex, the T wave, and normal PR interval values and we will continue our talking about the normal ECG values in the next videos. And now let's jump to the question of this day. What is the difference between PR interval and segment? Thanks for watching. I will be more than grateful if you press the like, subscribe button, and share this video with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions to improve my channel, leave a comment and let me know please. See the description below for the newest updates and for more infos. Also don't forget to follow us on other social media sites. Keep your narcotic dose and good luck.